Welcome back to this Elm Creek adventure on Farming Simulator 22, day 17, with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's December the 17th, crack open the advent calendar, whatever type you've got, if you haven't already done it. I think I've got a candle again today. I have a very limited selection in mine, albeit they are chocolate, so I'm rather happy with that. Um, right, we are at the store. A few things are going to happen. As you've already seen, I did that cultivating contract on field 70, paid out 11 grand after borrowing equipment, and I've borrowed a load more equipment. Due to the changes in the local economy, Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Um, workers are charging less. Plus, we have been informed that grains are now being accepted at delivery points, if you know what I mean. So, we're going to test that out. Um, I'm going to buy my header for the Russell Mash. The Russell Mash was really cheap. Actually, you know what I haven't done today? Uh, that one. Let's go down and see what's available. Wouldn't it be awesome if the header was available? <laughs> um... Yeah, isn't it interesting, since things changed, um, I haven't seen any 60 percenters. Oh, it's a 55 and a 50, I suppose, there. I was thinking about getting um, a, a telehandler, but there was something along those lines. I don't need that, and that's too pricey. But, okay, it was worth a look. You never know. So, the header we want, a uh, regular header, the PowerStream 500, 25 grand. I could lease it, couldn't I? Oh, that's something else that's changed. This, um, before, it would always say what the leasing costs were on the main screen, but if you hit lease now, before it just gave you a price, bang, do you want to lease it for? Now it's actually got the breakdown, that's been added, that wasn't there before. So you can work out what it is going to be per hour um, and per work day. Although that seems a weird way around, doesn't it? Your base cost to lease it's 500, like your deposit, I guess. Per workday, you'd expect the workday payment to be higher than the work hour. Per work hour, 525. That's very high, isn't it? Isn't it? Was that just me? I don't, I don't know. It's not something I've really paid attention to. I always look at the bottom line and go, okay, 1275, bang, off you go. Unless it's a very big piece of equipment, then I'll look and say to myself, well, oh, okay, that's going to be a lot per hour. I need to try and stay under the hour if I can. That's a very high amount per hour. I personally think. Um, oh, no, I've just leased it. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll lease it to start off with. I meant to buy it. Um, I'm in grumpy old man mode today, <laughs> which you'll see, because I've never moaned about all sorts of stuff. For those of you that love a rant, <laughs> you're going to be in luck today I've got my ranty pants on so I've got three contracts I've borrowed for no two I've borrowed for one I'm doing myself so we've got a wheat harvest on field 22 which has got to go to feed and grain now I'm going to deliver it all I'm not going to do my workout I think I might change it now to 65% each time and see if we can work that I'm going to tweak it until I get it absolutely right for every contract um if 65 takes no problem at all, I might then drop the next one to 64, and I will find that balance. So, with my harvester and the least header I've got, I'm going to be doing the wheat harvest on field 22 myself. I have got an oat harvest on field 31, which is a fairly big field over in that direction somewhere. I think it's over there. So I've borrowed their case for that, and then I've got a sowing contract, which I'm going to do as well. They pay out quite well. But I've got to buy seed, obviously, for the sewing contract. So I've got a few, but I'm, I'm more inclined to hire workers now than I was before. Because it's, I say it's not going to charge me too much. It's still going to charge me, but hopefully not as much. So on my way to, <laughs> he says, on my way to field 22, which is up there. Uh, we're going to be headed to field 31 is that one there. So we can take the harvester along up that one and we can start on there. Maybe I should get that one going first. 
because it's closer. And the sewing one, I'll kind of finish off with that. Um, we're going to kind of have a look at and talk about some of the bits and bobs. Let's turn off. Let's grab that. Do I want to put it on the header? Trailer. I'm just going to load it a little ways. Let's put the beacons on. Um, so, things that have changed. There have been a few things that have changed for the better. And I, I absolutely, 100% for the better. Um, people are still finding a few glitches here and there, things they're not happy about. And it gets one of those things that giants, I guess, will tackle the problems that most people are being affected by. There's always going to be those weird glitches and anomalies that individuals may come across, um, which I guess they'll kind of work their way down a list of importance. So there will still be probably issues that people are having, but they, as far as I can tell, they've tackled most. And it's been weird. Well, I still don't know about mods yet. A couple of people asked me about mods, and that we were told that um, we won't have mods on console until the update goes live. We've actually had three small updates in 24 hours. 1.4 updated on my uh, PlayStation today. Actually, I have to cut across the fire station. Got a big gap there. So we've had kind of four. One of the big, bigger problems, or one of the issues, is the the pallets. I said yesterday the strawberry pallets looked like they were obviously double in size, but then someone sent me a picture saying, no, nope, every single new pallet they've had spawned has been half size. So it looks like something's gone wrong, and it's, it's spawning all the pallets out at half size, which is a problem. I was going to do bees as well today. Maybe we'll do bees tomorrow. Um, tomorrow may be a short episode. The back of that again. Um, let's get that cracker back. Um, yeah, so pallets is a problem. Uh, a few people messaged me to say that their um, greenhouses aren't producing anything. They're just getting no production whatsoever since the update. I have noticed mine has slowed down considerably, which is a bit of a worry. I thought, okay, fine, if they've doubled the size of the pallets, depending on whether it's lettuce, tomato or strawberries, um, it's going to take longer to get a full pallet. But if they're not changed the size, why have they slowed down production? It's not like they were mega fast anyway. Um, especially if you're doing it like I am, a day at a time. If you're doing one day months, then obviously, yeah. But then realistically, a month has passed, so you would have more produce, wouldn't you? Anyway, so that still seems to be a problem. Um, I'm hoping... I know a few people messaged me about my videos from, I think, day 13 on here. A lot of my videos are posting and, and seem to be really misty. Um, kind of, yeah, like a weird blurriness to them. Um, so those people that I responded to, I wasn't being rude. I wasn't, I wasn't you know, the, the frustrating thing I'm having, I got a new monitor. So I was fiddling around with some of the, the different settings on the monitor. Hopefully this one will post better, but here's what I'm finding. Regardless of my monitor settings, or my PlayStation settings, when I'm recording, as I'm now, no problem at all. I don't have any mist, there's nothing on my screen that's absolutely fine. I then edit, when I'm editing, absolutely fine, no problem at all. <laughs> I haven't any issues. I've, been, I've checked my render settings, everything on the PlayStation, I've checked everything. I'm rendering the video, no problem. I watch it back, the start of it, just to make sure everything's rendered fine. It's fine. And then I upload it to YouTube. It's uploading to YouTube and something is going wrong. Something's happening at YouTube's end and when it posts, although it's saying it's posted to HD 1080, it's, gone, it's, it's got this misty quality to it. Now somebody then messaged me to say, that farm talks back, someone messaged me to say that, um, me mad. Someone messaged me to say, I'll get there in a minute, that um, he's distracted me now. Oh yeah, that after a few days, two or three days, the videos that originally posted really misty had cleared up and were fine. It's like they'd, they'd gone to YouTube, they'd processed, but hadn't rendered fully or something. So for some reason, now, like I say, I've checked, I've double checked this, it's not my end. Um, it seems to be, definitely, it seems to be, definitely, it seems to be at YouTube's end. So I'm hoping this video, I've fiddled around with some settings, I'm, I'm trying, in case it's something, 
of when it's getting to there and the encoding's wrong or something. Um, probably coming wrong, I'm hoping it's going to be fixed. Well, that's all I can say is that I'll, I'll post this one today. I'm just really annoying me because I want my thumbnails and I want my, the quality of my videos to be perfect. And I'm doing my thumbnails and they look absolutely glorious. I'm really happy with them, the colour and everything. Bring them in, do my editing. And when it posts, I look and think, what is it? It looks washed out, it looks horrible. So, yeah, don't know. That's a bit other reason why I've got me grumpy pants on. And it's, just, it's just frustrating, you know, when you're trying to do stuff and you think you're doing it right, but something goes wrong elsewhere. I've really gone the long way about this, haven't I? I'll see it in the field in a moment. <laughs> We're getting cracking on that. I'll bring my trailer, uh, tractor and trailer over. Because obviously I've got to transport it myself. I'm going to take the whole lot. Now what should happen now, since the local economy was fixed, um, if you did any grain contracts, anything that provided a swath, so wheat, oats and barley, a lot of people were finding, including myself, that you would completely clear the field, so the contract would say 84% complete, you would take it off to sell it, you would sell everything you had, and it would come up saying only 27% lift. That's just an example. 27%, 15%, 18%, whatever it might be, and the contract hadn't completed. Well, apparently that's not the case anymore. So that's what they're going to be checking for, hopefully. See, for me, I'm looking at my screen now, and it looks wondrous. I'm so happy with the... It looks fantastic. I'm very pleased. I just hope it's okay with you. Um, see you in a minute. I'm feeling emboldened by the recent developments, so I'm probably going to hire a worker here as well. I know. Ha! Money is no object. Of course it is. But, um, I'm going to hire a worker here, and I think I can probably do the sewing at the same time. Let's get all three going. What's the point of having multiple contracts available if you're not going to utilise that? I was avoiding it like the plague because of the cost of workers, but if the cost of workers has come down significantly now. I still, isn't it amazing? Still! Why can I never remember that? It's one of my Achilles heels, is remembering the uh, how to turn off enable and disable straws. I remember my L1 and the right and the D-pad. I might stick on a post in my TV. <laughs> straw swap. L1 and the right and the D-pad. So what I will do is I'll jump between here, we'll jump between the oat harvest, which is continuing the big uh, case, and then we'll, um, we'll, get, we'll go and get some seed, and we'll get the sowing contract done. Hopefully things will start to turn around now. I'm just thinking, that, because I was doing kind of one coin contract at the time, it's taking me a while to get them done. Worker hives, fingers crossed. Now I had this strangely with cultivating yesterday. I mean, it was quite cool. It was like it was getting bogged down. It would it would cultivate at like seven, eight miles an hour. And every so often the revs would drop, and it would drop down to like four, and it, the engine would rev, and it would it was like it was trying to get through a, a thick, you know, compacted bit of ground. And it would change down the gears, then go back up again to end up it go, and I think that that's fantastic. But after a while, it gets quite frustrating. Especially when you're hiring a worker, because you want it to run at 8 miles an hour across the entire field. Um, well, I guess that's not the way the world works, is it? So what I'll do is... Uh, do a cut across there. I'm trying to think, I had a list of them, I had a list of things. I had a list of things in my head, not an actual list of things, I should have written it down. Um, oh, nearly a full, nearly a full tank over the field plate. Right, this is the header for this harvester. There is no other, there's no other Russell Mashup for this harvester. Oh, that would be why. Um, I bought this harvester second hand. That is going to turn out to board me. Um, and look to the right of my repair on my harvester. Oh! something somewhere. Something's definitely broken, which needs fixing. Um, I need to go and say, we 
need a mobile toolbox, we need to work out. This is just going to pick up this one. It's fairly... It's still built, I guess. It's a small harvester, we just started here. Again, you know, the work of bees may be lower when your work is going that slowly, and that's my fault, it's my, it's my machinery, it's the fault, not the work. Well, it's me, it's cheaper when I hire a worker. It says we have snow coming, that's a worry. Yes, I, I had the time set wrong. Don't tell the time cops. The whole time I was driving out, well, I went to get the tractor, thinking I'm coming to get the oats. I had that, I don't know what was this. I'm having a real nostalgia thing over this series, I don't know why. I was thinking that Harvest Festival song when I was a kid, Oats and Wheats and Barley Moat, is that just before? Uh, um, it's kind of fitting for the grain harvest we're doing now. He's done a fair old bit of this, hasn't he? Of course, a fair old chunk of that, son. I feel with that. Right, so. Let's empty this. It's nice to be doing some work away from the, the home farm. You know, I've, I've been trying to do little bits here and there, but I wanted to get the home farm fields. Oh, that was the thing I was going to show. Was... When I did my video yesterday, on patch 1.2 and the various different... Oh, that was something I was going to have a gripe about. Just <laughs> the free content thing. I kind of alluded to it in my videos. If you watch it, go and watch it. It's brilliant. Um, and it's... Um, yeah, it was the field info thing. It said um, there's been some changes to the field info. Now, when I went to check on the field, I, I, nothing had changed that I could tell. But it's on a field you're working on. So I'll pop back to the home field and I'll show you one there. If we jump out here, I think I'll got field info on. So at the moment, that's only showing certain things because the field's just been harvested. Um, but if I go to the home farm, I'll show you what's been added. Um, I need to just go in. I think what I might do is do a strip that way, just to do the edge, because it seems to be missing a little bit every now and again when it does a turn. Um, so yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know if people know, noticed it or anything with the video yesterday. When I said at the start of the video about free content, I'm, I'm very kind of... I kind of said, I can't remember now whether I edited that chunk out, whether I started doing the edits in the video and thought, oh, I can't leave that in because I was having a moment. Um, being that we're now, what, three, four weeks into the game being released. Not going to four, is it? Um, Say it's a free content update. In, in, and I get it, it might just be me. Um, but that kind of intimation that, look, here, you'll get this for free. We're not charging you for this, aren't we great? And you go, oh, free content. But as far as I'm aware, I'm, I'm, people say, oh, you put it free for chance. I got early access. I paid for my copy on PlayStation. I, I paid for mine. Um, would I or could I have got a free copy? Probably. But I did pay for my copy. So I just want to put that out there as well. Um, I bought my copy. Anyone that's bought this game has paid for the content. So the content that they've put out, I still don't know if this is the season pass stuff they were referring to. It did say in winter there'd be new machinery and equipment, but it did say winter and it said 2021, 2022. So I'm now very much kind of, was this part of the year one season? they were talking about but the fact it says free content that tells me everyone got it so that's not season pass content that's my extrapolation from that um, but again let's say if it's season pass stuff you've paid for the season pass if it's free content we've all bought the game it's not free at all um, and only being three or four weeks in the same as I said when they dumped all those mods this stuff should have been in the base game at the start. I get the feeling they're going to do this a lot and, and, and drop new stuff and, and 
no, no, again, like the cynical me, the grumpy pants me today. Like we're all supposed to feel grateful, you know. Thank you so much for giving us this free stuff. Um, which to some degree, yeah, it's great. If you're getting free stuff, that's always good. But there's always that kind of niggle in the back of my mind that the intimation there is we can charge you for this. You know, they're going to start with the microtransaction thing where, you, you know, we've had it a few times on different bits and some it releases and it's 2 99 here or 3 99 there. Um, I don't know. Like I say, uh, I, 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 was, I was a postman for many years. I worked in a unionised industry and the battle between the unions and the management the whole time made me very... When something looks too good to be true, I always look, you start looking for the, where's the catch here? You know, it can't be this, you know, they're going to give me this, but take away with that. Or they, you know, that, that unfortunately became kind of ingrained into me. That was part of my my psyche. And it's kind of stood, it held me in good stead for quite a long time. You know, because generally speaking, that is the case. You know, it's like, it's like magic, you know, smoke and mirrors. If they're showing you something at one end and saying, look at this, isn't this awesome? Aren't we wonderful? What's the other hand doing, you know? I, like I say, I, I, I'm smiling and I'm, I'm, you know, there's a few things I just wanted to go up and chat. If you like my rants, you're having a great episode. If you don't, I apologise. I'll stop ranting now. Um, I'm going to move on to some happier things. Now, what I'm going to do when I set the work crop, actually, I need to go back to the farm because I need to get the tractor with the trailer, so I'll show you what I meant about the building boat. Um, I did watch yesterday's episode, I showed the time, we've now got additional ability to speed up time during the day, so not only can we skip to the following day from any point in the day now, which is one, again, you might be new to the game, you may not know that, um, it used to be on FS19, you could skip through the night, but only from about 8pm, depending on the map, depending on the map maker, but usually around that. And what they've done is put a thing in now that you can jump forward from any time in the day through to either 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9 a.m. the following day, which is great. But we've also got the ability to speed up time in game, which on console historically has always got up to 120, so times 120. They added in a whole load of extra ones, but what they added in in the update was times 240 and times 360. Um, if I go into the settings and show you, we're at timescale 3x, which we never had before. If I go backwards to that, we go... 360, 240, 120. I don't want to be on those too long. Um, so yeah, they've had those in, which is uh, amazing to really, really think about it. So, uh, right, let's hop out, let's work carry on with that. Quite good, I've decided that money is no object. Uh, let's just get on. Uh, oh, where am I going? Yeah, to the farm. Uh, we'll go and get the trailer for the farm to up to field 22. Then I'm going to go and grab some seed, and we'll get the um, we'll get the sewing contract underway as well. We might as well have all, all, all three running. And then what I'll do is I'll jump on one of them and let workers carry out the other two. But it means we're getting kind of more work done in the time. And the fact that you can bounce, you know, you can do three contracts, three contracts, three contracts. You can ramp the money up. But like I said, I was avoiding it because of the cost. So, field info. My fields, as you've seen over the last few episodes, I have done um, the ploughing to get the ploughed state. I've done the uh, liming because it needed liming. I've done fertilising. But what's been added into the field info screen now is this. It says who it's owned by. Bottom right, crop type, it's growing. It says what the yield bonus is. So I'm currently sitting at a yield bonus of plus 95%. It's fertilised, but then it says things that need doing on it. I seeded but didn't roll after seeding because I thought, well, I've, I've, get, I've picked the stones up, I've got rid of all the stones, I don't need to roll it. But rolling after seeding improves the seed bed anyway, and I think that gives you a 5% bonus, which should take me up to the plus 100. Um, so on all three of my four of my fields, that one over there as well, they all say needs rolling. So what should happen is, as you're starting to do your fields now, with the field info on, if you come to your field, it will tell you what you haven't done. It might say needs lime, like it used to, needs ploughing, needs lime. It's added in these new things. It might say, how did I miss those? It's a bit I can't pick up just a handful of stones. Um, so yeah, it, it will have those things in there. Like I say, it may well say needs cultivating or needs whatever, but um, that's nice. A few additions to have in there. Um, this is really frustrating me. I was hoping with the update 1.4 that I did this morning when I got up, that would have been sorted. But Maybe not. Uh, let's go to the other side, I think. 
The only downside to doing it this way, and it's a slight change in what I've been doing recently, is that... Hang on, what is going on? I fixed my tractor last night. You... on... You were on the video when I did it. The end of the video, I took the tractor over there and repaired it. How is that now broken overnight? It doesn't make any sense. Please tell me this isn't another problem. I don't want to. I don't want my rentie pants to be. I've got up this morning to get in the tractor, and we have problems. Uh, right. Well, that's not saying it needs any repair. But it, what is? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what is happening. Just had to take it near the repair point. Oh, and the other thing was, I worked out, and you probably already did on the video. When I went over here and said, I don't understand what's making this weird noise, I'm assuming it's part of the update. If you put down one of these little weather stations, which improves your weather report, it's this. That's making all the beeping and clicking and whirring noises. So when I was up on the, on the thing here, and I kind of skipped through, I'm like, what is that noise? I haven't noticed that before. I was waiting for a game crash or something, but it's not, it's that, it's the little weather station. But, oh, oh hang on, it's the trailer. Of course it is, oh man. As soon as you hook something up, it tells you, yeah. If you look at my damage down there now, that's fine. As soon as I hook up to the trailer, it's the trailer that needs some work. And my half is done. <laughs> Uh, I'm probably going to go across country. Actually, you don't. You don't need to see this bit. This is. These are the bits I edit out. Usually, when I'm trying to get somewhere quickly. That harvest is almost done over there. So that'll be the first one. Then we'll take all of those oats to feed and grain south, and we'll see. Will I be contract complete? Oh no! I went from the other side, didn't I? I'm thinking, wow, that guy over that side really quickly hasn't <sighs> Right, Looking forward to tomorrow immensely. I said the episode tomorrow may be a bit shorter uh, on day 18. Day 18, we are going to my daughter's house. My eldest daughter, who moved out recently with her boyfriend. So she has her own place now. So she's doing like a pre-Christmas party, the weekend before Christmas. Um, we've all been invited over, all of her siblings and boyfriends and various different you know, people. And she's doing like a kind of Christmas dinner party type. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be fantastic. I was saying in the video the other day that I wasn't feeling particularly Christmassy at the moment. And I think that's going to be one of those things that's going to kind of nudge me in the right direction. The sun dawned on me as well, but with the... Uh, I mean, to be fair it's still charged me I, d I don't know whether it's because it was going down so quickly before worker fees have always been there they've always been something but I, you know once I kind of got to a position on any let's play where I was earning a bit of money please tell me he didn't just stop there he did one strip and I've been paying for that and he's done absolutely nothing oh he's not in there so I'm not being charged for it what was the problem with turning around here the fact the harvester won't even move. Is it that badly broken? It won't even move. <laughs> that can't be it, it's all in it. Oh, oh, that's not good. This is something new. Well, we'll get the over harvest for this anyway. But I think what we're going to do is let's drop that off. We're going to take some repair it. Let's go back to the farm and repair our harvester. I may have got it for 26 grand. It cost me 20 grand to fix it. And it's running all right. I just don't think it's there's something wrong with the uh, something wrong with the threshing unit. The throw this is not uh, not good. No, <laughs> this could get expensive. I wish I'd have known this before, I could have done it when I drove past the farm. Never mind, it needs doing. 
Um, I'll see you back on the farm in a minute and let's repair this. These don't be too expensive. <laughs> oh, that's something I didn't check. I mean, it's, it's the, egg, the egg pallet's done the same thing. Oh my word, okay. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, 2,274. I mean, it's pricey, but it's a harvester. Not too worried about the paint condition, like I say. It's been interesting, actually, look at the John Deere when I said about the paint condition. All around the, uh, all around the three point and round there and up around all the framework and the uh, rear view mirrors, all the paint chips and the toolbox and stuff like that. I mean, it's cool. It looks cool. Yeah, I'm assuming that's going to do the same thing. Or maybe not. We've got some eggs anyway, so it looks like the nog will be saved this Christmas. Let's get this back and see if we can't use that header a little bit better. If it doesn't run properly, there's an issue then, because that's the only header that goes with this. Fingers crossed. Do without any more dramas. No more dramas today. Oh, oh well, there's thanks to people. Just so I remembered. Um, before I forget. A uh, massive thank you to Mark. Um, Mark has been um, a long-standing supporter of the channel, and yeah, can't, can't thank you enough. Thank you, Mark, uh, for your generosity. Thank you to Stephen. Um, thank you to yeah, I think it's Nigel. Um, Nigel, Jason, Richard. David, Robert, James, I think I might be going back a few across some that I mentioned before. But thank you to all of you for your continued support of the channel and to me uh, and you know, everything I'm doing uh, is very much appreciated. So thank you for that. Have a wonderful Christmas. If I don't speak to any of you between now and then, have a happy Christmas. I mean, that goes through for sure. <laughs> you don't have to make donations to the channel or when I'm streaming it to, to be wished a happy Christmas, but you know, um, it's just what you do, isn't it? So, yeah. Right Having any incidents, and uh, let's hopefully get this harvest to Should have gone this way the first time, it would have been quick. Oh dear, let's see, shall we? Hopefully, it was that. Well, there we go. I mean, on FS90, you know, when once things started to wear down, there was a little bit of profit horsepower, that kind of thing. And, you know, you would also notice the harvester would slow down as the header wore, but not the harvester necessarily. But as the header started to wear down a little bit and need to repair, it would slow down. But that was crazy. But also, the cool. Some beacons off. Get okay, work going. Yet, but I have brought up the tractor and the trailer ready to unload as soon as it is. Um, right, back down to the main field. I'm going to be bouncing around a lot, I think. Back down to the main field. We'll check on the other harvester in case it needs emptying. And then what we'll also do is... What was we going to do next? Oh, yeah, the sowing. Yeah. I have the harvest contract on field 31. Everything's off the field, so the contract is saying 84% complete. I've got the first full load down at, you can just see the silos, right through the gap in the trees, through over there, um, at feed and grain south. Um, 25,500 litres, I think it is. There's still another 8,000 litres in the harvester. So potentially, um, we could complete the contract with what's on there, if the contract completes. Now, wheat and barley, 
were definitely ones that were playing up. I'm sure I did an oak one and that didn't work as well because it is still the grain one that can produce a, a swath. So we'll see, but the, the main, I said the bigger test is going to be this one here. It's going to be the wheat harvest. Um, I'll say the tractor will struggle to keep up with the harvester then. Let's just hold 18,000 litres. We'll more than sort that out. So, what I think I'll do, I'll wait till this is done. I'll take that down. Obviously, the harvest will need to go back to the farm, and I need to buy a header rather than lease. That was a mistake. We'll buy a header, and um, and we can unload them both one after the other and see if they both complete. Oh, that was like something else I was going to do. I was going to try out something on the number plates. That was thanks to Jay. Was it Jay or Jake? I think it was Jay, but I will double check that. Um, who suggested something I could try? But that may be in the next episode now because I'm pretty sure I'll probably forget. Um, right, I think what I'll do now is see you down at the store. No, you know what? We'll finish off with that. We'll finish off down there. We'll go and get the seed and we'll take the seed high up to field 11, actually, I think, which is along so over that direction somewhere. If we check on the map. Uh, yeah, Field 11's over there. So from the store, which is there, we've got a bit of a drive out to Field 11. Actually, I might go the back way, go that way round instead to Field 11. That's the one that needs sowing. It's a fairly big cedar. I don't know how much I, I suppose I could do it now. I can get the, we'll get big bags because it works out cheaper, I think. Yeah. Still 1,000 litres though. Should I get a couple of thousand litres? Will that be too much? Doesn't matter, I'll get reimbursed, I think, as well, won't I? So, we'll go for two of those. Excellent. We'll get that done. I really hope this works. It's, it's kind of a... I'm still doing farming. I'm still earning money for the farm. Potentially, we could have some crop left over of oat. I mean, I haven't got any horses, so the oats could go to a sell point could go to um, a production chain that was something else as well that a few people messaged me about um, bear and papa did jeremy mention it a few people did and it's also something to bear in mind is the production chains as it stands at the moment if you don't own any they're sell points um, so you can take your crop there and you can sell it so you might get things coming up or you get a good price there if we go to our um, menu here and you'll go down you'll see you've got um, where are we? Cereal factory on that one, oil mill on that one, um, grain mill, great processing unit, that kind of thing. So there's sell points for all of these particular things, which is great. So if you're doing contracts and they give good prices, the problem is as soon as you buy one of those production chains that are on the map already, it you lose it as a sell point because you're using it, then it's yours. So you can sell your product on, but it doesn't pay as well as if it was as, as if it was a sell point, which is kind of frustrating. There's that situation where you stop and think to yourself, are you better off leaving them as sell points on the map and placing your own production points because they're available in the build mode? <clears throat> or do you just accept the fact that it's no longer there available as a sell point? I mean, there are sell points you can place as well. I don't know. It's, a, it's a bit of a dilemma, isn't it? It's not something I've really thought about. I mean, thinking about it, if you owned it, you could deliver there. There should be an option when you go to unload of, do you wish to sell this product or store it to production chains? That way you can make the choice then. If it's a good price to sell the product, you can sell it. Or you can decide, well, actually, I want to go further on in the production chain. It's kind of giving that option either or. You can either run production chains and be the business owner or you can sell that you, you can't do both no hmm are we nearly done i think we are sorry i've chatted again hopefully what i'm chatting about is helpful useful information Now this one isn't so much about me keeping any, I've kept the sorghum, that's enough to feed the chickens. This is just about to see whether or not we can complete the contract or not. And that's it. 
Okay. So, harvest will go back to the farm. We'll sort that out later on. And... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll see you down there. Let's see if both of these work, shall we? Really, really hope they do. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's time to see. Now this one might not complete because I've still got 8,000 litres in the harvester, but there's still a fair amount here. So potentially... Oh yeah, idea, it? Potentially it will, but again, it might not if it's not fixed, but it's supposed to be. So I, I'm actually sitting there with my fingers crossed. <laughs> oh dear, what's wrong with me? Okay. No, it's not fixed. That is absolute horse manure. 25,500 litres, only 8,000, that's saying 14% transported. Giants lied. That's cobblers. That was supposed to have been fixed. Oh, now I really have got my ranty pants on. That is absolute nonsense. Anyone else having the same problem still? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm to my right. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna get the blog up because. Oh, I'm so cross. Oh. Oh, I'm so angry. <laughs> uh, fixed an issue where some contracts were unable to be finished. Really? Have you? Don't think so. So I hold, hold out zero hope on this going even close then. And what's frustrating is, if I go up here, this will show field 22, 84% complete. So field 31 was 84% complete. It went up 3% by me delivering 25,500 litres of oats. So now I'm going to get absolutely... I've had it. I'm going to get crucified for the, for the cost. Because both of these will fail. I'm such an idiot. Why didn't I save it before I did this? <sighs> Maybe there's a compensation system I can utilise. <laughs> I was so happy I have just saved it. <laughs> because if this doesn't work, I'm going back to this and I'm going to... I won't even deliver it. I'll fail the contract and sell the wheat. I honestly just cannot. <laughs> oh. I have been. I have been incredibly loyal for a very long time. There have been things that have annoyed me every now and again, and I have a bit of a hissy fit, like everybody does. I've always backed giants to the hill. I've always tried to explain things that have happened, but this, I'm sorry. Come on. So, I'm going to show you what will happen now, then. If you're unaware. Because... Both of those contracts say they're active. <laughs> I've got nothing left. I mean, I've got 8,000 litres for that one, which is going to serve me no good whatsoever because that's not going to take it up any higher. So if I now cancel that and cancel that, when I click failed, uh, that's interesting. What's going on here? That's saying missing crops nothing. Missing crops 1,400. That doesn't make any sense. These figures don't even make any sense. Mm. 
what is happening? So what I need to do, I know this is really bad, I shouldn't be doing this at all. If I go back to my previous save, I fail them both. If they both come up the same, I will have the wheat in here and I'll have 8,000 litres sitting over there. This can't be what they're saying about it not being a... I don't know if they haven't completed, have they? I'm just not being stung for missing crops, which again doesn't make any sense. Man, okay, hang on a minute. Let's just see what happens. I've honestly, I'm beyond. It makes me mad. Oh yes, I am a time traveller. <laughs> Did I not tell you? Um, so, if I don't deliver any of this, I know I'm going to get clobbered more than the one thousand whatever it was it said I was missing. But if I can find wheat, oh, the prices of wheat are awful. I've only got 11,000 litres. <laughs> oh, dearie me. If I sell my 11,000 litres at 807... <laughs> 8,877. And I'm going to get clobbered more than that for filing the contract. The prices have definitely changed since the update as well. Um, honestly, you can't make this up. <laughs> oat, look at the oat prices. Oat prices are amazing. So, what I've got to do, and this is really annoying, I've got to put this in here, knowing full well I'm not going to complete the contract, Take a hit on what's missing, which is going to be a lot less than if I fail the contract now. Um, if I fail the contract now, oh, I don't even want to think what it's going to be. Um, my only saving grace is going to be the fact that the other contract, I can't complete the other contract yet because I've still got 8,000 litres sitting in the harvester. So what we'll do, we'll go and collect that 8,000 litres of oats. This is so convoluted and so annoying. So this one, because I was using all my own gear, my own equipment, this one on field 22 I'll have to cancel because I'm not even close. Um, so we'll do that. I'm out by 1,439. Can't do a lot about that. Um, the one on field 31 I'm not going to complete yet. I'm going to leave that tractor there. I'm going to go and use my own tractor and trailer. Empty the harvester. And then I can complete that contract. Now that was showing a zero. Apparently I've delivered enough. What well, it doesn't make any sense. I've delivered enough so there's no missing crop. Yet I haven't fulfilled the contract. Huh? So what I'll then do. Nefarious as ever, he says, twiddling his moustache. Um, I'll then sell the oats. Because if the prices are over a thousand. I'll cover what I've just lost on that. that great. So the grain contracts aren't done. That, that's, I'm going to change my thumbnail title again now. <laughs> uh, it was going to say grain fixed, question mark. It's now going to say man gets angry. Honestly. Mind you, in the time since the updates released. Oh, it was Jay, by the way, as well, for the number plate thing. Thank you, Jay. Uh, I'm not going to show it now, but I'll, I'll have a go. I'll fiddle around off screen. Um, in the time since the update, first update went live yesterday to now, to whichever one we're up to now, I would imagine plenty of people have gone away to try it and found the same thing, or they've gone away and tried it, and it's been absolutely fine for them. I honestly don't know. Um, I don't think we'll get into the seeding. I'm just too cross. I'll go and empty this harvester. <laughs> Complete the contract on that, which should still be saying zero. 
hopefully. We'll go and sell the oats. Like I said, I've got no horses or anything like that, so we can, it's no point keeping hold of them for the time being. So we'll go and sell the oats, and hopefully we'll make a tiny bit of profit. Both those contracts turned out to be a waste of time, because I made no money on the contracts themselves. But I should be able to make a little bit of money. On this. I thought this day was going to go all right. 17th. Day 17 is cursed. <laughs> I might just stay in bed the rest of the day. Again, don't know if we're going to get any mods later. Who knows? It depends whether these these are the updates Giants were talking about. It doesn't say anywhere on the change log or anything that's been done that these are the, you know, the updates they were talking about. It doesn't say anything about console mods being fixed. Nothing at all. So I don't know for definite. We'll see. Let's hop in here. So, 8,548 litres. I'll now go back onto, no, back onto here. So that contract is now cancelled because I can't complete that. Go down to that. How is that now saying missing crops? <laughs> that was all saying zero. <laughs> Can I recover anything from this debacle? And it is a debacle. Oh, got another cultivating job popped up. That looks nice. I am dejected. Completely dejected. Goldcrest Valley, 1350. That means sending it off by train. Hurrah. Oh, it was tight. Sorry, knocked over a little cone at the fire station. Let's take this down to the train. Let's get this sent off. And then I'm going to go for a lie down in the dark room. I may punch some things on my way to that dark room. I'm going to do that dad thing. That parent thing. I have been ranting and I'm cross, I suppose. It's not so much that I'm angry. I'm just disappointed. Honestly, really? On my way through. That's going to probably be quite a long episode now. Um, I think tomorrow I might look at bees. What is that on the floor? And how did that get there? Doesn't even bear thinking about it. So we've got a McCormick. Seed is open. Good to go. Two bags of seed. That will go up to field 11. Hopefully I can sow that. Is this even going to take two full? Nope. I'll just come back for some more. It does say as well in the change log. <laughs> Not that you can place any store in the, uh, the uh, reliability of that. Um, that things have been... I might have that said about grass, didn't it? Maybe seeding with your own here. There was me thinking, we'd finish the episode, I'd have three contracts done, we'd have some grain and stuff left over, we'd have money in the bank, contracts paid out quite well, I could buy my header rather than lease it, <laughs> and all would be well in the world. Instead, like going to find all the rest of the toys now getting the payments for those and then if I find all 100 getting the million and just doing a big raspberry and then just buying a load of stuff <laughs> I wanted to do this right I wanted to do it properly I wanted to do a gradual build up I, wa oops. I wanted to you know I wanted to do proper farming you know 
but the problem is the man's always got his foot on your head. <laughs> you know, I was going to that party tomorrow, I might start drinking today. Coffee, obviously. You know. <sighs> um, problem is, it's not knowing. <laughs> when you don't have the icons there, and you don't have the help window open, I could click on that and think I've hired the train, and then not know if I have hired the train or not. It's a, it's a bit frustrating. <laughs> Everything's frustrating today. <sighs> And breathe. Oh, that's good timing. Let's rent the train. I haven't got to wait so long. That's pretty good. <sighs> okay. So, yeah. Mm. Um. Is it coming back or not? Is that it? We stopped. I can't get to it though. Is this going to be one of those days? Okay. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> what is going on today? Right. <laughs> Return rented train. And it's charged me. Thank you so much for that. Now, back up, please. So that mistake on the part of the train driver cost me $10. On the start of the next episode, there'll be a little bit of a clip, uh, a montage of a sport. Well, maybe, I don't know, something. There'll be something showing me doing a bit of seeding out on field 11. If you were hoping you were hanging on for that, I can only apologise. Close the cover. Send the train. Send it. Yes, please. 11,502. So we are up a little bit. Are we up a little bit? I don't know if we are or not. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I just don't care anymore. <sighs> so, feeling very dejected and down. I'm going to head back. Grab my harvester, grab that cedar, get that seeding contract done. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I'm not sure if you would have enjoyed the episode or not. If you have, please give us a like. Please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, be nice. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do. As always, as ever, thanks for watching.